Well, hello there, Cancer. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cancer for the week of the 25th. This one doesn't resonate so much, Cancer. Go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your Moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You may want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. All right, so we are looking at the overall energy here. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my readings. I post weekly. If you want the extended, click the join button down below. It's 10 bucks. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. All right, so looks like we had a bad ending here, a real bad ending. Um, we've got the three of swords, heartbreak, heartache, pain, sadness, disappointment in love, a breakup. Um, you know, having your heart broken. It's showing up with the ten of swords, which is a painful ending with someone, being stabbed in the back sometimes. And the Ten of Wands, uh, also an ending. Aces start cycles, tens end cycles. There are two tens here. You may feel like this relationship is over, like it's done. I don't necessarily feel that way. Uh, ten of Wands is burdens, like emotional baggage. Um, I'm kind of maybe carrying around this connection still. And I'm saying that because the Eight of Swords is here. That's feeling a little bit stuck a little bit tied and bound. Sometimes it's self-limiting behavior or self-sabotage. Um, this may be a breakup that you have had trouble moving past or your person has had trouble moving past. You both may be in that energy. We have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, and stay optimistic about your love life. That is a tall order con like considering what's on the table right now. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So let's take a look at your person's energy and we'll see where they're coming from here but there certainly has been you know a, a lot of water under this particular bridge all right all right here's what we have so far this is the modern witch tarot i'm going to be using the tarot of mystical moments to clarify we've got the two of cups in reverse two of cups is a very close partnership between two people a close connection it's in the reverse, so the two of you aren't on the same page, you don't want the same things right now. However, I'm encouraged. We've got the Justice card, Major for Libra. So justice can mean someone apologizing to you, uh, someone making amends, making things right, balancing the scales between the two of you, and the Empress here. This is both Major for Taurus and Libra. This person could be either one of those signs. She's the divine feminine, the wife, the mother. Um, you may have been married to this person or you may be still married to this person. The Empress is someone seeing you as a partner, as someone they could have children with. It's also wanting to like nurture the connection, give to it, um, make things work between the two of you here. All right, tell me about Cancer's person. They haven't given up on you. Oh, all right, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo energy. You could be dealing with a fixed sign. Wheel of Fortune is sometimes like divine timing. It can mean good luck, good fortune. This person could be part of your destiny, like they're meant to be on your path, vice versa. They may feel like you are their destiny. With the Eight of Swords, though, I feel like this relationship has been hard to shake, and it's maybe because... I don't know, there was a soul tie here or some sort of soul contract between the two of you that maybe hasn't been fulfilled. Oh, okay. All right, we've got the devil showing up. That is Major Arcana for Capricorn. So this could have even been a karmic connection between the two of you. 
sometimes it means obsession, like I'm obsessed with you or you're obsessed with me. Again, these two figures are tied together. So there's like this sense that the two of you are in each other's energy. Mm. This person may have been toxic at times. There could have been substance abuse issues here. They're every bit as obsessed with you are as you are with them. This person doesn't happen to be a Capricorn. Okay. Oh, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. And we've got the lovers. Okay. So this person is definitely meant to be on your path. There is a deep kind of cosmic or universal connection here. The lovers is major for Gemini. You can see like the similarities between these two cards. I'm not sure whether this is a karmic relationship or whether this is a soulmate or a soul tie, a twin flame here. Regardless, I don't think that this is done. I think the two of you still have some more business to conclude here. There's maybe even a reconciliation here between the two of you. All right, uh, let's clarify that and we'll see what comes out. If you think you're the only one who is sort of stuck to this person or tied to this person, you're not. See, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They are not happy without you. Nine of Pentacles is single independent energy because you're a soulmate. Um, there is this soul connection between the two of you, this soul recognition here. Nine of Pentacles in reverse is I'm not happy on my own. I don't want to be by myself. Um, six of cups I've known you before it's a card of the past it can mean nostalgia sometimes it's bittersweet it is a soul recognition card particularly with the wheel of fortune the devil the lover showing up here um, you and this person are kind of just meant to be on this path and that's why that's why things haven't ended between the two of you like energetically speaking three of pentacles that's a desire to work on this. It's someone wanting to talk with you, someone wanting to um, like cooperate, have conversations, work on this, and the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. Possible that you're dealing with an earth sign. Knight of Pentacles is like slow and steady energy. This could be someone slowly coming towards you. But if you think in, like, if you've been thinking that this person has gotten over you, that they're past this, that is very much not the case here. They may just be taking things slow or they're not sure what to do. All right. Tell me about Cancer's person. All right. We got the High Priestess, Major for Cancer, someone being kind of quiet, um, intuition maybe. You may be like dreaming about this person, they may be dreaming about you, you may be seeing symbols, you may be seeing some signs here. We have the Four of Cups in reverse, they don't want to miss out on an opportunity. This person may have walked away before, they may have been uninterested. But they can't shake you and you can't shake them. I think that they're just they're just as drawn to you as you are drawn to them. Ten of Swords, they feel the pain too. And we've got the Empress again, more Taurus and Libra energy. They want to fix this. They want to grow the connection. They want to nurture it. They're not done here. That's the upshot. Uh, let's do this person's feelings for you. So how does this person feel about you currently? In the extended, I do feelings, intentions, advice. How does this person currently feel about you? Nine 
Nine of Wands. I told you they haven't like given up on this. They haven't given up on you. Nine of Wands is that wounded warrior. Hold on. So you can see it a little more clearly. Like she's exhausted, but she's still at her post. She hasn't given up. She's still guarding here. This is someone who still carries a torch for you. They still want to be with you. They can't shake you. You can't shake them. I think the two of you are kind of destined to be together. Um, this person's in your life for a reason. That's kind of what's going on here. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe since I post weekly. If you want the extended, click the join button down below. If you would like your own private reading, you can find all of my info down below in the description box. My least expensive is $20. All right. Thank you so much and blessed be.